Can you imagine a world that's dark and gray, lifeless, cold, and dry? Everything that you see around you is the byproduct of biodiversity. It breathes life to the world and splashes hues of greens and blues to our ecosystem. So, what makes biodiversity important? It keeps us all alive. It provides us water to drink, food to eat, oxygen to breathe, and clothes to wear. According to the Convention on Biological Diversity, or CBD, the Philippines is one of 18 mega biodiverse countries of the world, containing two-thirds of the Earth's biodiversity and between 70 and 80 percent of the world's plant and animal species. However, with the ever-changing environment and increasing global temperature brought about by climate change, some species of forest trees fail to cope with such changes, thereby affecting their ability to survive. But it's never too late. We can still protect our forests and preserve our natural resources. So how do we make a difference to save biodiversity? Through genetic diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the variations observed in the tiniest detail, the genetic makeup of species. This might come too hard to understand at first, but don't worry. Genetic diversity is just how we are distinguished from each other. Just look at your fingers. Notice how no two people have exactly the same fingerprints? Even identical twins still have their own differences in spite of roughly the same appearances. Genetic diversity is important because it helps maintain a healthy population. It helps species to survive the negative impacts of climate change, making survival of the fittest ring true even more. With higher genetic variations, the more chances there are for forest tree species to survive and thrive in an ever-changing environment. You may ask, how does genetic diversity in forestry help humans? The answer is simple. Forests provide us with resources, making it possible for humans to survive. Genetic diversity helps in decreasing the vulnerability of forest tree species to pests and other natural threats that may cause a decrease in population or even extinction. What's more, genetic diversity information can also serve an important role in tree breeding and in the improvement of our local forestry programs. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau of DENR has already initiated genetic diversity studies of priority forestry species in the Philippines. This might not come as a surprise, but documenting genetic diversity is easier said than done. There are processes needed to identify the genetic variations in a forestry species. First, plant geneticists determine an individual's DNA characteristics through DNA analysis. To get this done, ERDB does the following. 1. Researchers collect leaf samples from different sources around the country. 2. The collected leaf samples will then undergo DNA analysis. 3. The researchers will then extract the DNA found in the leaf sample through the use of CTAB test and the help of molecular marker RAPID. This process is called DNA isolation. 4. ERDB's Forest Molecular Biology Laboratory identifies genetic variations by using segments of the DNA sequence of individuals. These segments are called DNA-based molecular markers. By observing the different types or genetic polymorphisms of these markers, we can estimate the genetic diversity of the population. 5. Lastly, ERDB researchers observe the genetic variations among the individuals and analyze the data gathered. There are seven species that are included in the ongoing ERDB genetic diversity study. As of now, ERDB has assessed the genetic diversity of three species. The study showed the population holding the highest genetic diversity among the samples collected from different provinces in the Philippines. For Limolan, it is Bataan. For Nara, Ilohos. And for Kawayan Tenik, it is the Pangasinan population that holds the highest genetic diversity. With higher genetic variations, the more there is for species to survive and thrive in an ever-changing environment. The continuing study of ERDB on genetic diversity holds vast potentials for the preservation of the forest ecosystems in the Philippines. In reforestation programs, using a population of tree species with higher genetic variations poses a greater chance of surviving than a population with limited genetic variability. As the country faces unceasing and unregulated deforestation and loss of genetic resources, we are in a race with time to document and study the rich genetic diversity of our forestry resources. In Biotech, promoting biotechnologies for a healthy environment. To show your support, like us on Facebook facebook.com slash erdbgovph and use the following hashtag 
ERD by Youth Tech. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Don't pop like trouble, breaking into your heart like that. Cool shade, sunner, yeah, owe it all to my mother. High like summer, yeah, making you sweat like that. Break it down. Thank God, it's Friday. Thank God, it's Friday. Yes, thank God, it's Friday. How are you guys doing? Yeah, TGIF, right? Because I know most of us had a very tiring week with all those online classes, on all those uh, countless Zoom meetings, and everything that's been going on with our lives right now. And I'm sure you and I are excited to dive into the weekend, right? But before we we go to that. We've got an exciting gift for you this morning. If you're feeling great, can you show us some heart reacts on Facebook? Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, thank you for for being here with us this morning. So, I am Jonna Garcia from the Technology Transfer Division, and you are watching the virtual launch of the official YouTube channel of the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau in celebration of the Philippine Environment Month. This month was actually declared Philippine Environment Month by virtue of Proclamation Number Two Three Seven, signed in 1988 by then President Corazon Aquino, to raise environment environmental consciousness among Filipinos. This celebration actually coincides with the World Environment Day, which we observe every fifth of June. That's tomorrow, right? Kaya naman we're so excited. For what's in store for you, not just this morning, but also for the rest of the month of June. So thank you, thank you for being with us this morning. So before we go any further, may I invite our friends on Facebook and on YouTube to please join us in an opening prayer to be led by Miss Clarissa Camille Halili, the Science Research Technician Two of the Technology Transfer Division, to be followed by the Philippine National Anthem. Thank you, Jonah. It is always good to start a day with a short prayer. Let us bow our head and put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Father Almighty, 
Thank you for blessing us with your wonderful creation and the chance to celebrate the Philippine Environment Month. Through this virtual launch of ERDB's YouTube channel, may we continue to gather more Filipinos to learn and care about the environment, especially the youth. Keep us all safe from harm and guide us throughout the day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Amen. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magibig pero sa siga kanan, alam ng puso sa hindi ko ibuhay. Tuwang binirang tuyang kanang magiting sa manlulupi, di ka pasisigil sa nagatag tutok sa siya at sa langit mo pa. Thank you so much, Casey. So, to officially welcome you all to this event, let me call on the Chief of the ERDB Technology Transfer Division. Shower some clap reacts, please, for none other than Mr. Juan B. Evora. Hi, sir. Good morning. Juan, uh, isang makakalikasang araw sa ating lahat sa pagkikiyang natin ng Philippine Environment Month ngayong taong ito, binarapat ka rin yung uh, Technology Transfer Division na isabay ang paglulunsad ng EcoClaro o pagbabahagi ng mga paalaman at teknolohiya sa kapaligiran at mga likas yaman sa pamamagitan ng YouTube. Sa mahigit na isang taon ng pandemya, higit natin natanto ang kapakinabangan ng mga teknolohiya ng pakikipanayam at pakikipagtalastasan. Andiyan nga ay YouTube at mga aplikasyon ng social media na pwede natin gamitin upang magpagot natin ang ating mga gawain at mga serbisyo sa nakararaming mamamayan dito sa Pilipinas at kung saan mang bahagi ng mundo. Sa gawain tulad nito, nagagawa nating oportunidad ang mga hamon ng panahon sa pangmalawakang saklaw. May babahagi natin ng mga kaalaman, mga panuntunan, mga protocols, mga rules and regulations, mga exhibits, pagpapaliwanag, at mga regulasyon na nakasandit sa siyensya at marami pang iba. Ang ERDB ay lagi naghahanap ng mga solusyon at mga pamamaraan upang maabot natin ang mahalagang sektor ng ating lipunan. Ito po'y isang simula lamang. Magsama-sama po tayo sa gawain ito. 
sa pangunguna ng ating direktor, Henry A. Tornado, ang ating assistant director, Mayumi Kikos Natividad, ang ating mga division chiefs, ang ating mga center heads, at iba pa mga kasama natin sa ARTV. Lakbay natin ang siyensya at daloy ng komunikasyon na aga pa sa pananaliksik at pagkundalan. Sana po ay suportahan ninyo ang gawain ito. Maraming salamat po at pagpalaan nga tayo na po ang magtapal. Thank you so much, Sir Johnny. So good to see you this morning. Now, the advent of social media has changed our lives in ways we didn't imagine years back. More and more Filipinos have turned to this platform for various purposes, right? Like being in the loop with the current events or to checking out where to order food or just to simply get the latest information about how to be a more eco-conscious citizen of Mother Earth. And the ERDV has also made its way into the online community since 2018. Kaya naman to show us a quick trip down memory lane and tell us what ERDV has been up to on social media, let me call on the Information Officer 4 of the Technology Transfer Division. Click that Heart Reacts button for Miss Liberty E. Assis. Hi, Miss Levi. Good morning. Magandang umaga, netizens. Happy Environment Month po sa inyong lahat. And Salamat sa agham at teknolohiya, mayroon tayong social media. This keeps us connected with each other, though we are not physically together in this time of the pandemic. And uh, through social media, we can connect, share, and engage with you uh, by means of user-generated content for transparency, public service, citizen participation, community mobilization, technology promotion, and the information dissemination. And we are lucky po that since 2016, the Philippines has its own freedom of information order. So in the state recognizes every Filipino's rights to have access to information of official records, public records, and documents and papers pertaining to official acts, transactions, or decisions. And that includes um, research data or information that we have in the government offices that can be very useful for policy and program development. Okay, so dahil ang ERDB po ay may sariling Facebook page at doon tayo nagkikita-kita, tayo ay nag -e engage with us. Um, alamin nga natin, nasaan na ba? Ano na ang narating nitong FB page na ito? Okay, so in 2018, ERDB launched its FB page I think kasama din natin dito si Sir Henry Adornado sa launching na ito. And since then, we were able to share with you ano ang mga balita sa ERDB, ano yung mga technologies ng ERDB, ano yung mga events na nagaganap dito sa aming bureau, ano yung mga contest, meron po tayong mga ginawang contest dito sa ating uh, uh, FB page, and marami din naman yung mga sumali sa atin. And then most of them are the youth. And since then, ano na ba ang... Uh, Kalagayan. Ano na ba yung engagements ng ating mga uh, netizens? So sa ating pong ERDB Facebook page, we already have 18,174 likers. Oh, ang dami niya na. So like lang kayo ng like para tumaas pa itong ating uh, stats na ito. And we have 20,194 followers. So please your friends who are also interested and who should be engaged in environmental uh, information dissemination. Sana po, invite nyo rin sila para madagdagan itong ating 20,194 followers sa ERDB Facebook page. And of course, we have 70,000 average engagement per month. So yan, madami na po, di ba? So ang lawak ng narating ng ating social media page na ito, ang ating Facebook. And currently, what are we doing? Ito po, we are establishing, continuing to establish ERDB's online brand. 18,000 pa lang yun. Marami pa tayong pwedeng ma-engage ma ng mga kababayan natin. And even those who are not in the Philippines can see the FB page and uh, uh, be with us ano po, virtually. So ito, that is uh, through FB and in a matter of minutes, meron pa tayong isang social media flat platform na share sa inyo. And uh, in a matter of minutes na lang po ito ang ating YouTube channel. And we promise to be consistent in our 
social media presence through publication of various ENR infographics, primers, and many other information uh, uh, dissemination strategies po dito sa Facebook and uh, even in our YouTube channel. And of course, syempre, dahil dito, we claim to be one of the pioneers in publishing credible information about ENR-related concerns in the country, here in the Philippines. Through the different formats we are using in our social media pages, we continuously innovate ways to reach our target audience. Kayo po yun, ang aming minamahal na audience na siyang uh, pinag uh, share namin ng mga information on ecosystems research and development. And so we keep moving on. So here we are, YouTube. Ito na nga po, YouTube. Ito, here we go. And we'll explore the world of YouTube next through publication of informative videos on our official channel. So abangan po ninyo ang mga videos ng ERDB. And let's keep on revolutionizing the way we communicate data. Times are changing and the Bureau is committed to expand environmental literacy in our country. And that's it, Paul. Thank you, everyone. Good morning. Thank you so much, Ate Libay. Yan, talaga namang very active ang ERDB sa social media. Hindi po tayo magpapahuli. Kaya naman, ito na. The much-awaited event this morning to show you for the very first time the official YouTube channel of the primary research arm of DNR, the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, and to give us a few words, it is my pleasure to call on the director of ERDB, Dr. Henry A. Adornado. Good morning, sir. Good morning, fellow stewards of the earth. Kamusta kayo? First and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the participation of our online viewers the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Our colleagues from the different regional offices from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and our friends from the various bureaus under the DENR. Of course, I also happy, I'm also happy to see here with us today our colleagues at the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau or ERDB, especially those from the six research development and extension centers or RDEX. At syempre, sa ating mga kababayan, matandaman o bata, anumang kasarian, millennial, man o gen Z, mga kapwa tagapag-alaga na ating kalikasan na nanonood mula sa kanilang mga tahanan ngayon Isang, na isang makakalikasang umaga po sa inyong lahat. The month of June reminds us of a significant role you and I play not just as citizens of the Philippines but also as stewards of the earth. Every 5th of June, people from all over the world come together to commemorate the World Environment Day. This is in line with the resolution number 2994 of the United Nations General Assembly that urges member countries the United Nations system to undertake activities that reaffirm their concern for the preservation and enhancement of the environment. Our observance of the World Environment Day is not just a gesture to support the cause of enhancing world ecology, but also a recognition of the imperative need to instill environmental awareness and concern among the various sector of the Philippine society. In fact, the former president, Corazon Aquino, through the proclamation number 237, signed in 1998, declared the month of June as the Philippine Environment Month. Since then, the call to integrate environmental consciousness in our daily lives have become louder and clearer to this day. This is why we at the ERDB, as the primary research arm of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, continuously work together to conduct 
rigorous research studies that will help contribute to the body of knowledge of the country's environment and natural resources. Through contemporary channels such as knowledge products, IEC materials, and social media, we strive to bring research results and technologies to the general public in order to build a society of informed citizens. And we needed to participate in discussions to make our voices heard and encourage more Filipinos to take active participation. With that said, I am pleased and excited to welcome you all to the virtual launch of ERDB's official YouTube channel. Through this video streaming platform, we can visually tell more compelling stories about the environment and engage the public to do our part to keep the world we live in a better place. Don't forget to follow, like and share the ARDB Facebook page and the ARDB YouTube channel to be in the loop of the latest content and activities we have prepared for you. Maraming salamat at mabuhay ang inang bayan. Wow! ERDB has prepared so much for our online viewers. Maraming salamat po, Dr. Henry, for that moving message. And aside from those episodes on YouTube, you've got other exciting activities for you this month. So to tell us more about this, here is the Media Production Specialist 2 of the ERDB Technology Transfer Division, Ms. Alisa Marie Federio. Hi, Ali! Ayan, thank you Ate Jonna. So, ayan, ako ulit si Ali, Media Production Specialist ng Technology Transfer Division. And since narinig naman natin na yung, from yung beginnings ng social media presence ng ERDB from Ate Levi, and formally na-open na rin at na-launch yung YouTube channel natin as per the director's message. So, sa part na to, pag-usapan lang natin kung paano natin na access yung mga yun at ano pa yung expect nyo for this month sa ating uh, environment month. So, ayun. Huwag na natin katagalin pa. So, first ay yung Echo Claro. Um, since uh, this month, uh, ang goal ng buwan na to ay ma-increase yung awareness ng general public about pressing environment-related concerns, naisip ng ERDB na gumawa nitong series sa YouTube which tries to explain yung mga bagay na usually hindi ganun kadaling maintindihan. So, for Eka Claro, we'll be launching two episodes this month and ang magiging focal topic niya ay about uh, various research results ng ERDB and technologies na makakatulong maka-address ng climate change which is a pressing problem ever since then. So, ayun. Uh, pwede natin i-look forward ito this month. Uh, like nyo lang and uh, follow yung Facebook page ng ERDB since we'll be posting announcements there. And ano nga ba yung goal ng Epoch Lalo? First is to appraise the general public on the technical concepts on ecosystem research development as ma- um, mas ma-highlight highlight at emphasize natin yung mga gusto talaga natin maintindihan ng general public. So, second is yung create awareness. So, ito na nga papasok yung since um, knowledge is power, kailangan natin din gawin yung part natin as a research institution na mas marami pa yung maka-rinig uh, or maka-alam nitong research results natin. And of course, widen ERDV's reach among various clients since alam naman natin na ang ERDV ang primary research arm ng DENR, uh, maraming mga information na pwede kayong makuha both sa mga so website natin, sa social media pages ng ERDV, which is um, carefully research na talaga. So, ayun. Isa yun sa goal natin. So, don't forget talaga to like yung Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ayun, pwede niyong panuorin itong short video kung paano ma-access yung YouTube channel. So. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, or ERDB, is now on YouTube. Just go to your browser, 
Log on to www.youtube.com and type in Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau. The official YouTube channel of ERDB features a wide array of content about various concepts, studies, and technologies generated by ERDB on ecosystems of the country. Here, you can watch videos and learn about the environment straight from ERDB experts. So go on, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get the latest videos of ERDB, Innovating for Sustainable Ecosystems. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, or ERDB, is now on Facebook. Just go to your browser, log on to www.facebook.com, and search for Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau. The official Facebook page of ERDB presents a large variety of content about the research studies and technologies generated by ERDB on various ecosystems of the country. Several publications such as the official technical journal of DNR called Silvatrop can also be accessed in just a few clicks. Simply like and follow us on Facebook to be in the loop about the latest content of ERDB. Innovating for Sustainable Ecosystems Ayan. So, hopefully, um, na, na kuha niyo na kung paano na-access ito both sa Facebook at sa YouTube natin. So, ayun, um, stay tuned kung sa mga content pa namin. And aside from Eco Claro and yung mga Envirotalk series na uploaded na sa ating YouTube, uh, meron din tayong EcoWise na tinatawag. Since um, ito ay magiging weekly parang quiz ko sa ating Facebook page where pop culture meets environment. So as we celebrate Philippine Environment Month and um, marrying then uh, that pop culture is deeply embedded then with various discussions about environment. Uh, ayun, nagawa ang ERDB ng this short quiz ko where everyone can participate and magkakaroon din ng simple prize for winners. So, abangan nyo yan starting next week, every Wednesday, 12 noon. So, ayun. So, dun sa mga magilig dyan sa movies, sa music, or sa um, books, um, abangan nyo yung content namin for the next part. So, aside from this, meron din tayong virtual launch ng exhibit. Um, since we're gearing into the new normal na rin, Pati exhibit natin ay nag-transcend na sa physical space. Meron na din tayong virtual exhibit which can be accessed sa ating website. So, pwede natin puntahan yung website ng ERDB at magkakaroon lang din ng parang part which you can click the virtual exhibit and may kita nyo na doon uh, different studies at uh, posters, infographics na uh, about research results ng ERDB which could help address climate change. So, uh, ayun, it's very exciting. First time din namin gagawin itong virtual exhibit. So, I hope lahat kayo ay makapag masuportahan din yung virtual exhibit namin. So, uh, ayun, ito lang so far yung ating mga celebration for Environment Month. Meron din tayo um, webinars in between. So, abangan nyo na lang sa ating Facebook page kung ano-ano yung mga yun. And that's it. Happy Environment Month and I hope na makapag-participate kayo sa mga activities na hinanda ng ERDB for all of you. So, ayun. thank you so much and good morning ulit. Wow, ang dami nun, Ali. Ang saya. Sobrang nakaka-excite. Sempre, di ba? And we've got all those exciting events and information about the environment in just a few clicks on our laptops, our computers, or just a few taps on our mobile phones. And I know you can't wait to check that out, but before you grab your phones, why don't we hear a few words from the Assistant Director of the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, because she's got some tea to spill. Shower your hot reacts for the Forester 
Mayumi Quinto Satividad. Hi, AD! Good morning po! Salamat, Yona. Pagandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo. Natunghayan po nating lahat ang paglulunsad ng official na YouTube channel ng ERDB. First of all, I would like to congratulate the Technology Transfer Division of the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau for initiating this event. This virtual launch of ERDB's YouTube channel is just one of the many efforts our Bureau takes to keep up with the changing times, to explore better ways to reach you, and to innovate strategies on how we communicate information about the environment to more Filipinos here and around the globe. We are actually fortunate to be here today. With the advent of social media and information technology, access to information has become less complicated. Exchange of information can now be done after a few clicks on our computers or a few taps on our mobile phones. When we have questions, we Google it. Surely, has made our lives easier. But I would like to end this event with a little reminder. Having this free access to information, the power we hold on our hands can be a double-edged sword. If not done properly, it can do more harm than good to us, the people around us. So I call on each and every one of you to join me and start asking ourselves, have I been a responsible social media user? Do I carefully read articles and content before I share it on Facebook? Do I check the source first before believing what it said? Given the resources I have, have I opened up discussions about environmental conservation to my family and friends? How do I apply this new information to my daily life as a student or a government employee or a citizen of the country? Do I just follow? eco-friendly trends just to be in. These are the things we should be reflecting on as we traverse life and cohabitate this single planet with other living things. Our wants are insatiable, while our resources are finite. We should be asking ourselves, what have I been doing to keep my only home? Here's how. Tailor the content you consume. Do the world a favor and follow environmental advocates, NGOs, and other government environmental groups on your social media accounts. In a world full of influencers, content creators, and vloggers, it's refreshing to see content telling us how to save the environment rather than how to ruin it. ERDB has remained to be a haven of researchers and experts. We have continued to publish knowledge products like technical journals, semi-technical newsletters, and other IEC materials to empower the Filipinos with information about our country's natural resources. So as we celebrate World Environment Day, I invite you to follow, like, and share the ERDB Facebook and the ERDB YouTube channel and join us in our efforts to keep Mother Earth. Maraming salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. Thank you so much, AD. Very well said. Totoo na living in a fast-paced digital world, it sure pays a lot to, you know, stop scrolling, drop our phones for a moment, and think, how have I used social media so far in my way of helping the planet, this environment, this world we have for the generations to come? Do we even bother to do the little things, right? Like right, um, turning off our our the light or unplugging our appliances and gadgets when we don't need it? Do we even follow zero waste lifestyle just because it's in or it's new, it's the fad, or because we really believe that we can make a difference in our own little ways? So let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below, and you can post anywhere on social media. But just use the hashtag ERDB or ERDB, ERDB Environment Month. So that's it. That's how we'll end our program today. You've just witnessed the launching of the ERDB's official YouTube channel. So log on to YouTube and search Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
And while you're on it, please like and follow us on Facebook. So there you go, guys. This has been Jonah Garcia, and thank you. Bye. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, or ERDB, is now on YouTube. Just go to your browser, log on to www.youtube.com, and type in Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau. The official YouTube channel of ERDB features a wide array of content about various concepts, studies, and technologies generated by ERDB on ecosystems of the country. Here, you can watch videos and learn about the environment straight from ERDB experts. So go on, make sure to hit the subscribe button to get the latest videos of ERDB, Innovating for Sustainable Ecosystems. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau, or ERDB, is now on Facebook. Just go to your browser, log on to www.facebook.com, and search for Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau. The official Facebook page of ERDB presents a large variety of content about the research studies and technologies generated by ERDB on various ecosystems of the country. Several publications such as the official technical journal of DNR called Silvatrop can also be accessed in just a few clicks. Simply like and follow us on Facebook to be in the loop about the latest content of ERDB. Innovating for Sustainable Ecosystems Got the right body and the right mind